Alright, hello everyone. Welcome to Fiora. And welcome to Kings and Heroes. This is a... Uh, an interesting MMO. To say the least. And as I said, it's massively multiplayer. But I'm first person. So, uh, I have no idea what I'm doing. I am playing a halfling wizard here. You guys can actually see her. I literally look like death. Apparently also because they gave me the press copy. They gave me access to the, uh, well, I just burned his ass alive. They gave me access to, uh, the patron things, because this was a crowdfunded game. So I have all the little patrons. Oh, shit. Uh, I have that. Burn! The fire is within me! Have him up. Oh, there we go. You're like a weak orc. You got like beat down. Come on, let's let's go. Whoa! Well, I am a halfling wizard, but that guy moved with like a speed I have never seen before. Now I just have to hope that our orcish friend... Oh, am I actually dead dead? Do I not get to get back up? Can he, can he revive me or am I just gone? I too. They gave me a press copy. You too. We're recording by the way. Do I just respawn? <laughs> Fairly, I don't get to get back up. I get him back up. Can you... Can you get me back up? Kind of a... Uh... Dude. What are we... What are we doing? Like some information, please. Try crouching. Never mind, I am I am really dead. Um right, so uh I am experiencing death, apparently. Hi, person. Archangel. Right! Where does this lead? I think the game just died. Are we okay? We're, we're, we're pretty frozen. Um. Oh! That's not what I wanted! Apparently he's level 5 already. Okay, well we just got murder raided and the game is now having all sorts of issues. I think the UI is a little big, don't you? I did increase the field of view, but that UI, those bars are a little big. How do I rejoin the dungeon? How do I rejoin the dungeon? This not working now? Right! So welcome to this first forte, by the way. Um, it looked interesting. I'll give it that. I mean, it legitimately looked interesting. It's just, uh... Well, I kind of suck. I'm gonna give it that. I, I, I do kind of suck. And at the same time, I, um... There wasn't a tutorial for this one, so I'm just... I'm just going with it. Ah. 
Right, um, the chat is not working now. And let's check the controls. Nope, no rejoin button mentioned. I have no idea what to do. Well, let's check the journal and just see if I can rejoin it that way. Nope. Friends, group, I can leave. How do I rejoin the dungeon? Is that it or we just... Apparently I am not figuring out that that is it. Uh, I just have to leave group and... And that's not working. Right! Good to see you. Farewell. I'd like to... I'd like to rejoin the one that's in progress, please. Okay, apparently that's not a thing. Um... I'm really short. Okay, I don't have a tutorial here to guide me. Any real info to go on or anything really to determine what I should be doing right now. So... But we're just gonna... Try this again. Small dungeon. Normal difficulty. A crypt. Loot rule. Round robin. Use matchmaking. Start. Start. I'm trying, folks. Like, it, it looks interesting. It's kind of interesting. I pressed F10. Okay, it is now refusing to start the dungeon. Up oh, there it goes. I guess that's as far as we get. I don't know how to rejoin a dungeon already in progress. Uh, okay. Okay, that's a lot of out. That is a lot of out. Okay, you just flat out. Okay. Apparently, I wish to respawn. Can I go back to. What the hell? Okay, this puts me back here. I get that. I'm dead. Wonderful. How do I get back into the dungeon I was just in? It is. Uh, I'm only here because I'm dead. I'm just going to point that out. So how do I rejoin the dungeon? And also, wow! I just got like one shot it. Yeah, voice chat's just local and I can't cut it off. Alright, have a good night. Good night. Oh, let's just do easy. Rock Cigar, why did you pick a rogue instead of a champion? If, if you want to fire you, bro. Because button is I, I don't rogue. even know. Alright, we're going to try this There's one more time. And also... With a big ass axe. Dear devs, like, let me cut off your voice chat because first off, it's awful. Like, I can barely understand that guy and on top of that, it sounds like he's talking from 10 feet away from the microphone. Second, um, can we get a tutorial? Alright, I'm by myself right now. I have no one here. I am playing on easy. Loot's generous. I get to loot everything. Holy crap, loot is way too generous. 
Eat my fireballs of doom! My fiery balls of doom that spew from my boobs! Because the way that animation is playing, that is totally not coming out of my hand. That is definitely coming from my tits. And it is making it all the more hilarious that it's doing that. Ow! Apparently I'm not stunned. I'm down. I'm dead. End of dungeon, because I... There's no explanation how to get back in here. Alright, there's the first forte. I am actually done. I am not gonna... I'm not gonna indulge this any longer. I'm not gonna waste my time anymore. The character creations... Actually, you know what? Let's just go show you guys the character creation screen. Let's go show you how that works, and you'll understand why I'm already giving this game a very short leash. Let's create a hero. Okay. You may not like what you discover about yourself. You charge Let's into battle. Do champion, sure. Um. Renowned work for the for wall. Their strength and fury, not for their Watch this. This is how you determine your stats. This can take a long long time because the emphasis here is on strength and dex and strength and dex are two of my lowest I stats do have other and it's straight up D&D &D. strength is extra physical damage and melee intelligence is more magic wisdom is uh, self awareness dexterity is movement speed and and attacking with bows constitution is literally just how much physical damage you can take and charisma is building you know relationships with other people so i am sitting here waiting on a decent roll for dex and strength i can't manipulate these numbers in any way shape or form i just straight up can't it's just a random roll with no the perfect interaction for me. And Constitution is obviously a stat I will need on. as a champion. So I have to wait for these three stats to align with something that isn't below 10. I'm assuming these are D&D-like stats, by the way, because you can see 15 is a... Yeah. And now I get my con and my dex and I get no strength. Finally, although I am apparently not very bright, I am incredibly unaware, and I am ugly as fuck. But we'll take it, just for the sake of this let's play. Uh, you choose your alignment, which I have no idea what it matters what alignment I am. So we're going to go with Chaotic Neutral uh, for shits and giggles. Between freedom and madness. Whoever voiced her did an excellent job, I'll May give him that. the God smile upon you. Now, orcs apparently don't have women. We're going to name this Fifi. You can adjust your height. Must be an incredibly short orc. You can change your skin color. I'm the blackest of the black orcs. Change what face you have. Change your hair. Bald. Let's go with bald. And, and black hair. And let's get our beard on, you know. Can I get, like, beardy? There we go. Beardy McBeard face. And Trace is literally just the tattoo that's on your face. And the most soulless eyes you've ever seen. That's your character creation system. The wrong way, and that looks like a chest. And we got a torch. Not that I find a torch terribly useful. And I'm apparently fighting whatever those are. It's dead now. Stay back. Stun and got like fish and heal myself. And now. Apparently, I've recovered some equipment here. 
that is not actually better than what I have, so let's keep going. That was easy. Ooh. Oh, I'm under attack. Let's heal. And now let's check her in the Jordan. Big sword. Um, what are we wearing? 15 armor. Okay. Right, so, uh... Melee power? I'm not... Sure, okay, uh, what is... Oh, okay, so it just gives me... Interesting. Well, he's done. Apparently it's much easier as a warrior to get through these opening levels. And apparently you do regenerate some health. Okay, we're gonna try the second ability of stone skin. And hack our way through these guys. Dead. So there's no real... This isn't like Vermintide where there's that umph to the melee combat so you feel like you actually hit something. It just kind of feels meh. Like, like Warcraft level of hitting someone. Apparently he stunned me, and I just beat his ass. Stupid lizards. Okay, I am stunned right now. You're stunned. Now you can have my hatchet. I don't really feel like... I mean, things are dying. Granted, things are dying. But I don't really feel like I'm hitting something particularly hard. And so it's just kind of... Uh, oomph. There's no oomph to the impact. Yeah, I'll take that over spell power. You know what I mean? Barely Orb of Cleansing apparently goes in my hand. Apparently I'm getting wizard items while playing a warrior. Interesting. I'm not aware that characters can trade items. See, there, a lot of this isn't explained. I wish I had a tutorial of some sort to explain this stuff to me. That would have been a mighty convenient. Apparently I'm now disconnected from chat, which means I'm probably disconnected from the game. Yep. Just totally DC'd there for a bit. Ow. Stay down. Apparently we recover their blood for something? Stay down. Ow. Ow, stone skin. Get back! You're next. Apparently charges line of sight? Uh, that's an interesting idea. Is Can you see the target? Yes, you can charge it. Okay then. Huh, it appears as though I've wandered into another section of dungeon. Which we're now fighting Dark Moon people. Hello, humans! Oh, you rooted me in place. That's that's cute. I'm gonna smack you in the head. And now you're dead. Anybody else? So apparently this is basically an MMO. Um, it's just done from a first-person perspective, isn't it? You dirty son of a bitch. How dare you? Let's see what all we got now. A better shield. Oh wait, this is a trinket. I'll take it. Um, that is definitely some better armor. That wow, that looks a lot different than what it actually shows me. Um, boots. Less armor, more attack. Oh god, I'm under attack. Just charge. Charge at point blank range. I don't care that I'm literally sitting on top of him. Just charge him. Smack him in the head while we look at all of our shinies. Huh.
sure I will sprint forward and just I mean there's no attack animation so I'm just assuming I just like barrel rush into him and kill him that way so there you go necromancer down and hack him apart Dead. Oh, did you just. You dirty son of a bitch. Get over here! I'm gonna cleave you in half. And this is a. Uh, I can't say it's terribly entertaining. Another commander's trinket. Can I equip both? I can. Awesome. Not really, but. I'll, I'll take it. Um. A lot of these green and orange items I can't even use, so you have that. Which deeper? This is a short dungeon, right? How did he stun me mid charge? Like I could not. I can't even keep up with the speed of the frame because it's like a one frame, so it's like a teleport. the corpses because all of the corpses need looting and that needs to be a thing so that takes care of those guys I'm pinned in place here apparently he has my charge ability which as you can see is basically a teleport um, right so charging is teleporting as far as we can tell All right, got the next set of fucker. How do you do that without me like smacking your ass down? He buffed himself and just got like mowed down like a pansy. These guys are. I mean, I get their level one, and it is on easy. I just kind of expected that maybe they would be a bit more of a fight considering the amount of trouble I had playing the wizard. Apparently wizard is a hard class to play with unless you have like lots of experience. I don't think so. That that rapid fire shit is not going to carry the day here. Can I activate two please? No? Deal with you. Activate three, please. That works. Um, your health apparently just regenerates in large chunks. I add. Learn my lesson with you. Stun you first, then worry about you. Wow. That was just mean. Slightly brutal. This is a short dungeon. How many, how many guys have we mowed through? That was a nice try to owie me. I'm gonna just, you know, literally mow through you. Okay, this looks like it might be a boss. Definitely the boss. That I am just beating his little goblin ass. Really? Really? You thought you had a chance, Skeleton Warriors? That is a spider. And they're just kind of staring at me right now, uncomfortably, might I add. Uh, sure, we'll put on some shoulder pads. That looks great! Looks amazingly awesome! We'll totally wield a broadsword. Why not? Even though we're orcish and should probably have a chopper. Where's my chopper? Hi. Bye. Okay, so this was easy. Um... Uh, right, isn't that the end of the dungeon? Oh, there's a chest. There's nothing in it. 
Right. Um. Huh. So kings and heroes, you're not um impressing me, and probably not impressing my viewers very much either. I don't have a lot of awesome, amazing commentary to give, other than this just seems silly. I'm level three now. Level three, everyone. Welcome to being level three. And I've apparently gone through like two weapons and... What was that? I didn't like that sound. Okay, is there like... Another place to go that I missed? Uh... That I missed. So this short... I forgot, you don't charge them because they insta-stun you. But apparently I can just resist all of the damage. All of the damage! You cannot hurt me! You want some, buddy? Come and get it. You and your roguey friends. Ow. Oh, he's dead. I just, like, punched you in the balls. That's kind of silly. I mean, I have a sword, and I punched you in the balls. Gave you a close line. Apparently, the computer insta-stuns. So on normal, you get two-shotted, and on easy, you are basically an unstoppable killing machine. And apparently, while your skin is turned to stone, you heal less. But, uh, apparently, I, I get on the tank, but I'm also, like, just mowing through these guys. Um, uh, I get it's easy, but this is ridiculous. This is almost like Warhammer Total War, uh, Commander and Lord ridiculous. Did you summon that? I'm totally summoning those. Okay. Ow. Can I move? Can I move, please? Thank you. Close line! Just for shits and giggles. Okay. My two button doesn't appear to want to work. I'm dead. I just got stun locked and killed. Okay, devs. I'm gonna put this to you very bluntly. Your game is awful. Just flat out. By the way, apparently this is orcish hell. And there is no way still to get back to the dungeon I was just in. That's just the end of the dungeon. That's it. I get this is in development. I understand this. I, I fully comprehend that. But you shouldn't be selling this yet. Like, you seriously should not be so. I'm having frame rate issues. I'm having frame rate issues. You've got to be kidding me. Um, yeah, I'm done. I'm not. It looks interesting. It's an interesting concept. It's being executed very poorly at the moment. Um, enemies are either stupidly powerful. Can I exit game? Thank you. Enemies are either stupidly powerful or they are stupidly easy to kill. Uh, stun locking is a thing that should not ever be a thing, but apparently I just got, I just sat there perma-stunned by multiple enemies while someone continuously summoned skeletons to beat on me with. I... 
I can't recommend it. If you want to check it out for yourself, it's $30 United States or your regional equivalent on Steam. Kings and Heroes, everyone. Uh, it looks interesting. It looks like it has some interesting concepts, but and I like the whole first person massively multiplayer thing, but at the moment, I really can't give you a good endorsement. Sorry. Anyway, that's everything from Fiora, and I hope to see all of you later. I'm going to go edit this now. If you liked this video, found it entertaining, or what have you, then go ahead and hack your sword into the dislike button. Uh, you can also hit the dislike button as well, if that's how you feel. I'm fine with it. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think and ways that I could give some feedback to the devs to improve this. If you'd like to see the previous Force Forte, it's right there. It's the Ruby Grim Eclipse game and the new combat system. You will find it rather entertaining. And if you would like to support the channel, you can go to their Patreon or you can check out the ad at the end of the video. Either way, it's fine. Lastly, uh, if you want to see more stuff by me, there's a big subscribe button. Go ahead, do it, caress it, love on it. Make it your sweetest lover ever by clicking the subscribe button. See you all later. Bye-bye, everyone.